Hello and welcome back to probably one of the most exciting reading vlogs that I'm gonna film this year because tomorrow's my birthday which is so exciting. I I love my birthday and that might be like a little narcissistic but my parents always made it like really really special so I always have really really good memories attached with my birthday but that's like not exactly the most exciting part like tomorrow like yes I'm excited I'll be 21 so it's kind of like a big birthday as in like I can finally drink alcohol legally uh, woo. But the thing I'm like most excited for is Katie is flying down to visit me Friday. Today is currently Monday, but she'll be here Friday night and she'll be staying until Monday. So I'm just gonna do a week long reading vlog and the end of the video will probably just be like shenanigans with Katie. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be doing, but I'm sure it'll be just absolute chaos like it usually is when we are together. But I am I am so incredibly excited. But as for my TBR, I have two on my TBR, sort of, and then I don't know like what else I'm gonna be picking up. It just whatever my mood is, but this book might take me like the whole week. Hopefully it doesn't because I don't really want to do an entire reading vlog dedicated to Chain of Thorns. So I don't know if I'm gonna pick up books in between because it's, you know, quite long and I'm not super far into it. My bookmark actually needs to move. I was listening to the audiobook the other day at work and I made it three more chapters of that. So I am currently on page 156 and there are a lot more pages than 156. So Cassandra Clare, it's the last book in the Last Hours trilogy. Super exciting, super fun. And then I also have Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This was actually Christiane Jones book club book pick for March? No, for February. And I was gonna read it in February, but I got busy. But this is due back to the library in like, 10 days so I wanted to be able to finish it before I actually returned it because I obviously took the time to pick it up. I want to actually read it. It's supposed to be just be like a cozy fun little fantasy which is like the perfect vibe for this week because it's my birthday week. Uh birthday week. <laughs> yeah my narcissism is gonna just like absolutely shine through in this intro. I apologize. I promise I'm not that narcissistic. Uh, I just joke about it a lot. I mean I do YouTube so that's obviously like the biggest red flag ever. <laughs> Anyways this is my short little TBR for the week. They kind of have similar vibes which is fun. Pink and green and my jewelry is green and pink as well. That's fun. Anyways so this is kind of the tentative TBR. For sure I'm picking up Chain of Thorns and hopefully I can get to Legends and Lattes. If I feel like picking anything else up during the course of the week, you'll be the first to know. But my plans for today, I have to go to the post office, so I have to leave my house, unfortunately. I really hate when I have to leave my house. But I thought I'd go ahead and stop by the library because I have a few other books that are actually due soon. So I thought I'd drop those off and then also go to the full cup because why would I not go to the full cup? I need to do some journaling. I finally got my internet fixed. It was like fucked up on my computer for like three days and so I wasn't able to print anything but now I can so I printed out some pictures and I just need to catch up in my journal. I think I'm gonna rewatch Shadow Hunters, Shadow Hunters, <laughs> Shadow and Bone season one because season two is also coming out very soon. It comes out the day before St. Patrick's Day so also like 10 days, literally 10 days before that releases. Bunch of exciting things this week. I am literally so thrilled to take you all along this fun little week. Hopefully I'm in just a good mood all week. That's, that's the plan. But let us be off and run some errands.
back home, as you can clearly tell, back on the floor where I belong. And I thought I'd do a very, very mini library haul. Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I have been bullied constantly into reading this. I'm not going to pick it up in this vlog, but I do have a special vlog in which I will be reading this. And I needed it kind of soon, so I was like, eh, why not? Also, I guess I'll do like a little show and tell of like what spreads I was able to get done. I did a little One Us memory page at the coffee shop. Didn't really film that because it literally was me just like constantly rearranging photos to try to get them to all fit. Uh, and then I finished my Range Apprentice spread that's been empty for like two months. Here. So very simple. I literally will just fill it in with check boxes as each live show commences and stuff. Nothing else really. I spent like three hours at the coffee shop so clearly my spreads were very time consuming. But I am about to eat, actually, and then I have jujitsu in about an hour, so I need to get unready for that. And then maybe I'll pick up uh, Chain of Thorns tonight. I did not actually pick it up. Or maybe I'll pick it up as I eat. I still have a whole hour, and I don't know what I want to do. I am tired, though, but I'm trying not to take a nap because I took a nap yesterday, and then it turned into a three-hour nap, and I don't have time for a three-hour nap. So... Let me go eat and then perhaps I will see you tonight or perhaps I will see you tomorrow on my birthday. Hello, today is Tuesday. Today is my birthday and I spent most of the morning crying because I hurt my back this morning at jiu-jitsu. Yay! I went to jiu-jitsu and I was totally fine and then I was like, ooh, my back kind of hurts. And now my back really hurts. Really strong way to start off my morning. But I did actually sit down and read quite a chunk of Chain of Thorns last night. I made it to page 286. And I, I'm still enjoying it, do not get me wrong. I'm just really annoyed at how many characters that are like trying to get into relationships or having relationship problems or just, I'm just like, can we have one happy couple, please? Who, just one. I just need one happy couple. Can we, please. <laughs> it's getting to be a lot to kind of bounce back and forth between all the relationship drama. And it's just every single character has problems. And I'm like... Give me one happy character, please. I actually came home last night. I have a package here, which I started to open because I thought it was a tape dispenser that I ordered. And then I was like, that is not a tape dispenser, it is a book. And I have not ordered any books, so I figured it might be from one of you all. So I thought I'd, you know, open it up, as one does. Not struggle with packaging because I already kind of halfway opened the box, so. This is, this is hysterical. This is hysterical. I remember how I literally just checked this book out from the library yesterday? <laughs> I guess I could return this copy. Uh, thank you so much, Darcy. If you don't know, Darcy has been trying to bully me into reading Sorcery of Thorns. And um, she said, happy birthday. Uh, I hope it's an awesome one. P.S. Yes, I had to choose this book, which is hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you so much, Darcy. I really do appreciate it. This is actually stunning. Like, there's like a um, texture over the letters. I don't know if you can properly see it. But it's very pretty. And I actually will be picking... This is on my March TBR. So I will be picking it up later this month. And that is... It's just, like so funny that... <laughs> I literally just checked out this book from the library only for this to then arrive. Thank you so much, Darcy. I do really appreciate it. As for the plans for today, I literally don't have any because my best friend has work and everyone else is busy and Katie doesn't fly in until Friday night. So I'm just like, let me just spend my birthday alone. That's fine. I'm content with my own company, but I'm going to be filming like a... I did a video last year where I was like, this is me at 20, so I'm going to be doing that, um, but this is me at 21. I was just waiting for my face to not be all puffy from crying. <laughs> and then I might read a little bit later or edit or do something. I have no idea. Is that 21 or is this 21? This is adorable. There is something super fun yet super depressing about like <laughs> being alone on your birthday. I bought myself a cake at uh, HEB. So let's, let's do a little taste test. I'm not going to eat this whole thing, okay? Okay, actually, it's pretty good. HEB kind of hits. I bought alcohol legally for the first time today. The way I phrased it sounded like I bought alcohol illegally. 
I have not. <laughs> I'm going out drinking with Addie, my best friend and my boyfriend. So I don't know when that's happening, like the next two hours perhaps. My plan right now is to watch Shadow and Bone on Netflix. I'm four episodes in and I forgot how much I love it. I'm gonna sit there, sit there. I'm gonna sit here, uh, drink and eat some cake. It's a fun time. I did have my whole family tell me happy birthday, which was sweet of them, except for one of my brothers. So he has like four hours left and then he's on the shit list. <laughs> I also hit 8,000 subscribers today. So thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> it's it's really fun. We're so close to 10K. It's it's literally insane. But I'm gonna let y'all go if you don't have to sit here and watch me drink alone. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some TV. Hello, today is actually Friday. So I didn't vlog for the past two days. It's the 10th. And the last time I updated was my birthday, which was the 7th. I did in fact get drunk um, and then pass out apparently before I even like flopped onto my mattress. I did do a little bit more reading the other night of Chain of Thorns. We're making progress. I've made it to page 476. I'm enjoying it. I'm just ready for everything to kind of wrap up. I don't, I don't know. I feel like we have my main kind of relationship situation semi-resolved. So that makes me happy. But in terms of everyone else's along with like the plot, nothing's really reached fruition reached a climax there's still like a good solid like 200 pages left so uh, more shit is going to happen i'm just wanting them to kind of get a move on in terms of cordelia's like curse situation and i'm like let's go let's get the ball rolling um the plot is not plotting fast enough but still still loving it uh probably gonna finish it this weekend maybe it depends on how much reading I do. I know Katie and I are hosting a reading sprint and I know I'm gonna take her to uh, the full cup and we'll have like a little like reading book date situation, but I don't know how much reading I'll actually get done when Katie is here because we tend to distract each other. So, and it's gonna be fun, but I have not vlogged these past few days because I have been incredibly stressed. I have cried every single day this week. And I'm not saying that to like elicit the sympathy, but I am just like, pissed at my bosses at work because we had three servers request off this Saturday and I requested off first a month ago literally the second Katie bought plane tickets and instead they approved the other two people to have their days off even though they only asked off like two weeks ago. The whole reason I have a serving job and I only work four days a week is because I have all my other hobbies and jobs of doing YouTube and Etsy and Patreon and the book clubs and it's just like I, like my life does not revolve around your restaurant and I told you a month, over a month in advance that I will not be here this Saturday. I know it's a request off, but it's more like a, hey, just a heads up, I'm not coming in. I have ranted way too long about the situation, but I just needed that off my chest because I literally have not been able to like get myself in a good mood this week because I've been so stressed about this. I haven't seen Katie in six months and that is depressing. <laughs> so. That, that's the whole situation, but I'm picking her up tonight. Uh, I have like an hour-ish before I have to go into work and I think I'm gonna pack some Etsy orders, maybe do a little bit of reading. I really don't feel like reading. I haven't really felt like picking up the book at all this week, but yeah, that is kind of my excuse, my reasoning, my I am so stressed. I'm gonna like stop filming because I'm just gonna keep ranting and that's no fun for anyone. So yeah, I will see you whenever Katie is here. I'll see you with Katie. Katie, ah, I'm so excited to see her. Oh my God. That is me. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Katie acquired. Pack looking like a gremlin. No. I like gremlin Katie. I don't like gremlin Katie. I'm gonna zoom in too. Do I say hello? No. Katie's giving me a present. <laughs> I'm getting your footage. I have a few presents for Kaz. What is this one for? In this particular. one, I ordered this. Is my this. Christmas gift. <laughs> this is your Christmas gift. I literally ordered this in November, and it came like last month. So, actually, I'm, here. I'm glad you went through the struggle because I feel like I would have been here a lot longer. Is it a poster? Is it no. a poster? No. Oh, it's not a poster. Okay, you're telling me this is not a poster. <laughs> it's not a poster, guys. It's not a poster. That's it. It's not a poster. It's not a poster. It's definitely a poster. I hope you like it. <gasps> No, it's not! 
I was like, I know you hate the original Shut cover for up. it, but... I could never justify the thought of, like, ordering this myself. Well, I really wanted one. I was like, I think Cass would really want one. So I was like, this is perfect. It is the A Court of Silver Flames, like... Alternate dust it jacket. It should have looked like this, basically. Yeah. Like, this is what the official artwork should have looked like. Because who let what Bloomsbury this? do this? Oh my god. That means I can finally not have it in my closet. <laughs> I literally put it in my closet because I'm like, I don't want to see this. No, like, why did they do that? Like, honestly, that, like, is fine as a design, but the matte the gray. gray matches nothing. No. <laughs> like, you try putting that into your collection and convincing me that, like, it looks good. Thank you so much, You're bro. welcome. I, I've been, I was like, it's not a poster. I've and you're like, it's not a bucket. I was like, what else could it freaking be? I've been sitting on this for, like, four months wanting to tell you what it is. I'm very excited. I'm so glad that you gave it to me now because it's literally like in my like Etsy like saved. I almost bought it like yeah. a week ago. I was scared you were going to because yeah. I know like I think it was in your like roasting bookshelves video. You like pointed it out. You're like I really like that cover. I was like I already bought it for you. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it again. Don't do but it I was again. like I'm glad to know you like it. But like, don't go too far now. <laughs> I wanted to see <laughs> her Russian copy of Ranger's Apprentice or is it the Russian copy of um, The Lightning Thief? Who knows. <laughs> He's holding a trident. Apprentice shine. Love this. Sh shine. <laughs> Sh 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 Rainer, shrine. there's apprentice shrine. Guys, this is past my bedtime. I'm tired. What else do we have to look at? Six of crowns. It's a like, great angle of Katie. Beautiful. I love it. These. And look at these stunning additions of the Mortal Instruments. <laughs> Good hey. morning. It is Saturday. Saturday. It's Saturday. Day. <laughs> We could have done like a duet. <laughs> <laughs> or we could not have. Oh. Um, I'm heading, okay. I'm heading, just me. Katie's yeah, actually being left here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here <laughs> and I'm gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> you already have. I'm gonna throw all these books out the window. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Why wouldn't you like pack them into like a suitcase or something? Why is your immediate thought destruction? You know, I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to my parents' house because yes. my dad has set up a scavenger hunt for us because we are children at heart. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I am so excited. It should be incredibly fun. It's gonna be like a whole all day affair situation. I'm so excited. I, I'm i also very excited. I'm so excited. Like, we're just gesticulating because we're, we're so excited. <laughs> we're so excited. Yeah. That's, that's, that's literally the plan. That's the all, update. Like, that's the plan. That's, all day. That's what you get. I'm so excited. Anyways. Let's go. I know there was a dog in Ranger's Apprentice, so she's black and white. Here's Shadow! Shadow. <laughs> so, obviously, here's our lock. Okay. So, it's a fairly simple thing. This is one of Cassandra's favorites. Yes! Okay. You have to match the pattern. Okay. Only we're in the advanced stage. Oh, shit. Where are we racing against? The clock. Oh. Because, essentially, <laughs> if you don't get them all done, the lock resets. And so you're on a timer. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm all, like nervous. I'm like, <laughs> well, you know, it could be traps or could be something falling on you. <laughs> we start looking up. We <laughs> start looking from up. <laughs> from the stories I've heard this morning already, I'm scared. <laughs> Three, yes. Two, one, start. This is so intense. I know. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, the lock reset. Damn it! <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to open the door. Okay, Katie, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? Um, new tra weapons training behind the stables. Yep, so so not behind not this way. The door. It's kind of been a tradition that bows always get used, but I just feel like digging a bow oh, up. This could be so, so I decided to do something <laughs> Wait, a little bit different. Which is ironic. I love it. Because yeah. this will make it more interesting. Okay. So, <gasps> throwing stars. Oh, oh God. this looks okay. fun. That's so sharp. <laughs> Damn. This Obviously, is to fun. use throwing stars, you mm -hmm. need. Targets. Don't throw them at your sister. So, targets. Oh, I like those balloons. So, here's our targets. Oh my god, this is going to be garbage. Oh, shit. There's two so, sports I'm bad at. Baseball and basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. How about you throw the third one? <laughs> Hey! 
I did. <laughs> and the end result is all around without a touching. Balloon one, Kate. Okay, so this might not be the weapon of choice for you guys. I'm going to start carrying one of these around. Yes. Oh my goodness, I am amazed at this pop. By a rapid fire, there it is. Hey! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Confetti really does me. Does we have three left. Oh! Two! Oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> I'm getting better. Oh, that okay. was me! I feel powerful. Whoa, y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. I'm scared Thank of you. Pass, even. <laughs> I mean, as you should. I mean, look at me. In the balloon? There's confetti, maybe there's more. There's a... There's Books! One. So, yeah. find the find. Please, find the find. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. I don't know what that means. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we had. So. Well, they all basically say this. <laughs> this one's capitalized. Do the capitals mean anything? I feel like they have to, or else it's like, Books. find the on the- Books on the bookshelf. Find the scroll on the bookshelf. Or find the bookshelves on the bookshelf. On the books. <laughs> On the <laughs> on the book scroll on the bookshelf bookshelf. It's on the bookshelf. We found a scroll, but not on the books. Oh, this is a bookshelf. Oh, wait, what's this? <gasps> it's a bookshelf. <laughs> oh my Look God. how tiny it is. On, wait, it's so cute. <laughs> I'd hardly call this a bookshelf. It shows. So ah, <laughs> Were those in order? <gasps> oh my God, the answer to the princess puzzle. Oh my God, you skipping? Is there a question? Oh, you're not done. You're not done. You're not done. What? We found a scroll in the books, on the bookshelf, on bookshelves. Bookshelves, plural, is there more? <laughs> I'm missing the Katie, it's kind of essential to this whole thing. <laughs> Trust me. See books? Oh. Who's reign formed the Rangers? King Herbert. <laughs> Little did you know that this would be relevant. It's been like a whole year since I read the first one. Has it been a whole year? Our number of walls to form Castle Redmont. Three. That's Castle Redmont. Oh. Here's an update. There's terribly not messed oh. up things on here. <laughs> you see nothing. Castle Rangers Ranger's Apprentice. <laughs> So that means this probably is Gillen or Gorlon. Like um, Blaze. Blaze. Which is a horse. Be in the oven. That's hot. So we are looking for fire. I so. it's not in the oven, but it could be in the oven. Has something ever been in the oven? No, it's obviously in the like fridge. Yes. yes, there was. But not this time. Have we ever had fireplaces? Yes, where the pool used yeah. to be. So. <laughs> Okay, because we used to we had a burn pile out there. Let's go to the burn pile. Well, you, other you places have it. fire. There's a barrel over there. Burn barrel. It was because a smoke I want to burn barrel. So, how much do you value your arm? Um, not that much. You're gonna fall to the bottom. Of Honestly, the I'm impressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Don't mind me. She hasn't even been drinking. <laughs> Or maybe they have, I don't know. Yeah, you game at morning. nine in the morning. <laughs> Find a scroll on the barrel on the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> find the horse, arrow. So we need to find an arrow. Do you have the avatar <laughs> with the arrow on its head? Oh my god, <laughs> Aang? Aang? Is that you? Ong? Oh Weather so cool. system. Okay, you look, it's a spinny thing. It's that how it monitors the wind. <laughs> this is the most obscure <laughs> this is so cool. Look, look there's a little this arrow. This is the solar oh weather station. Oh, so cute. Oh, arrow. <laughs> I'm a little dumb. <laughs> I found the arrow. It's in the leaves. It is. I feel like fun. I'm fucking Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. You understand, you got Jack. 
We'll understand later. Huh? No, I was just narrating for it. Yeah, why'd you say potentially? Three is five. You just have to go whichever way. And then if you go back down, it could be pretty R or S. But at what cost? That was really satisfying, <laughs> but that was also a bitch. <laughs> I know my wines. <laughs> oh, we can have some wine. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, I found Oliver. Good job. Damn! I was hoping that one was actually a little bit of time. I know my wine. Thank you. Is um whatever is on the bottom of this important? I found it first. It's close. She knew she wanted wine. It's close. It's <laughs> oh, I gotta go then. Me and him both aren't friends. <laughs> Shannon, you don't have to record the wine. Sure, I do. That closely. <laughs> I really don't care about the wine. I care about Katie and I. Aww. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Search in the north of the new territory. The line, the roses. See if we can find some roses. Maybe this Capri Sun is a clue. What could it mean? They'll find it eventually. There's a rose. Right? Do we leave that one there? I would say probably yes if you're aligning something. I would believe. <laughs> <laughs> align the roses. Roses on the rock. Unless there. we need to be looking this way. And line up the right in between the trees. I will comment that Katie pulled the rose off originally. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Can we head back it. to the AC now? I'm so sweating. Steampunk. I was thinking it was a little steampunky. I've lost it. Keyword, I'm the one who solved this. <laughs> yeah. Not Cassandra. Oh, credit. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a bunch of roses. Oh, there's a bunch of roses. These are my... Oh god! Vanilla or chocolate? Can we okay. cut the cake with this? No, it's not clean. No. Vanilla or cock chocolate. <laughs> we can stop. <laughs> Feel like you're no. <laughs> Give me the sprint is not sprinting right now. The sprint is not sprinting. We're not even trying to fake read either. We're literally just like doing <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
so close together right now. I feel like that's because you're on top of me. Well, we need to be centered. This this isn't centered. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished our sprints, Indeed. which were chaotic. Indeed. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'm going to be given gifts. Let's do yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. This is... Open these first. Oh, I got their books. Should I guess what books they are? No, because you can see through the, the I know, whatever. I'm trying to... Th I'm try I can't recognize the author. No. <laughs> That's what I thought from that picture. I was like, no, it's not the K-pop no. book. And then I was like, Katie wouldn't do me like that. Oh, I would. I would indeed. You might, like... you might need scissors to open that. I can't lie. I'm going to see if I can do it. Skip. Oh my god. How many knots did you put in? Well, I like retied the bow a few times to make it look better. Wait, you didn't even show them. Look at my cute wrapping. <laughs> Wait, it looks bad now. <laughs> it was super cute. Just take my word for it. My other one is really cute, too. <laughs> if I do say something. I'll remember to show that one before I open it. Yeah. No! <laughs> I thought I had a... I will say the ribbon's kind of easy to untie, though. This is That's a nice good. ribbon. Yeah. I like this ribbon. It's my mom's. Good ribbon. Good ribbon. Very nice ribbon. Thank you for the ribbon. Oh, of course. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I hate these. I love that. Um, this is what you get for... She gave I me like... that copy of Spirit Bound for Christmas, and I was like, this is my opportunity to um, repay. No, they're so ugly! <laughs> Cass likes these books. I enjoy them in like a fun sort of- Ew. And this cover is disgusting! <laughs> thank you. I hate it, but thank you. You I said you it. wanted to reread them. I do want to read- They're so fun. They're just like a fun little like K-pop trainee sort of book. Um, but the covers are just very, very questionable. You want to know the worst thing? Originally, I ordered this book in a hardback, thinking it would just be, like, normal, like, with the dust jacket, but it was, like, printed on the hardback. Yes. And I was like, this is ugly. I don't want it. These so honestly, I had to, like, bring it somewhere to, like, return it. And, like, somebody, like, saw it. And I was like... I'm glad your dignity... This is not for me. I literally... I had to work myself up to returning the book. I was like, they can't see me doing this. They can't see I... me with these books. These are actually, like, prettier as paperbacks. Like, they're still ugly, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, the hardbacks are, like, printed hardbacks, and which is the library copy, and that was just revolting. Oh There's... my god, no, her face is on the spine. I can't even hide it. No! <laughs> you can put it right next to XOXO. Oh, yeah, they should definitely be forward-facing, though. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. This one, I need even more What were those time. gifts for? The, that was our friend anniversary. That whatever. was our friend And, like, partly, like, your birthday. Okay. Anniversary. Here's well, here's the other guy. Look how stunning that is. That is so cute. Oh, we got little butterflies. A okay. Little card. Quit focusing on Katie's face. <laughs> Not a tomato. <laughs> this is also really nice ribbon. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the ribbon. It all comes from my mom. She's a seamstress, so she just has like a bunch of ribbon all over the it's place. It's like it's like, like the good shit. Like you know when you feel the cheap ribbon, you're like oh that's cheap. This is the good shit. Like I don't know how to explain it, but it's very good. I like the nice ribbon. Nice satin ribbon. Very nice ribbon. <laughs> Please! There's more! <laughs> <laughs> I have to block both of our faces for this to focus properly. Not the same pet! I'm so excited to wear these! <laughs> thank you, thank you. But these you. are better. Nope. <laughs> these are so cute! Please! So cute! <laughs> now I'm not focusing again. <laughs> They're little Valentine Day Bulbasaurs! Thank you. You're so I welcome. Feel so <laughs> Anyways. There we go. Gift opening. There we go. Complete. Worth the wait. <laughs> Anyways, we're off to get some sushi. Get some sushi. Oh my god. Go to Daiso. Go to Half, Half Price. And whatever else is kind of in the area. Yeah, we'll see. I did start reading Legends and Lattes during the sprints. I made it to page 36. <laughs> Uh, my roommate woke up and we were vlogging with the door open and immediately just like, we're really doing this. <laughs> Anyways, page 36. It is so, I mean, obviously cozy because it's literally a cozy fantasy, cozy fantasy, but I am so excited. This is like exactly the book I needed because Shannon Thorne's, it's taken me a little bit and there's just like so much going on and to just sit down with a book where like nothing is happening, I'm in living a for. Way. In a good way. Yes, absolutely. It's like a very slow fun time of just this orc opening a coffee shop and I'm here for it. I literally, I can't wait. Also, all the little chapter headers have like different doodles on it and it's adorable. They are adorable. And I, I sure. love that so much. Let the shenanigans go. begin. <laughs> we are gonna go.
five hours later. Love that. Uh, we've got... Okay, she kind of was able to control herself a I little got, because she has limited suitcase room. That's true. I don't even know if all the books I currently have are going to fit my suitcase. It'll be fine. Because if have, not, I'll hold on to them until I visit the next time. <laughs> like two hardbacks that you've given me and like two others. It'll be fine. It, it'll be fine. I mean, weight limits, what are those? Anyways, we picked up Legends and Lattes. Yes. Like I said before I even left, I was four or five chapters in, I don't even remember anymore, and Katie grabbed it. I was like, actually, I do kind of want a copy for myself. The cover and then so here cute. we are. It is, it is so Viv. cute. I've heard so much about Viv. <laughs> and it's just, it's one that I feel like I would definitely like reread if I'm like in a slump or whatever. So I didn't even read it the first time and I'm already talking about like rereading it. <laughs> Pages to fill. There's a little bonus story at the back <laughs> of these editions. And I was like, what bonus story? And then we also, well, Katie spied right. Capturing the Devil by Been Karen wanting this forever. And then I noticed that Stalking Jack the Ripper was here in hardback. It's only like a little damage in the back, but I'm like, 10 bucks, it's a steal. I'm just gonna like put tape over it, it'll be fine. It's on my 2023 TBR because Katie says the romance in the series is like really, really good. So good. And the I rest trust of her. it questionable but the romance is but good. like i trust her on the romance aspect and i'm like i might be able to just like ignore everything else about the story if the romance is good so that's what we're going with here then i also managed to pick up the last star because i actually bought the fifth season the fifth season <laughs> the fifth wave and the infinite sea last time i went book shopping and the last star wasn't in like a prime condition so i wanted one in prime condition and then i also picked up by Piper CJ, uh, The Night and Its Moon, because I've heard really good things about this. My friend Lexi had mentioned something about it, and I think a seller at a oh. bookstore had mentioned something about it. My camera's about to die. I will talk fast. And then I also ended up picking up volume zero, four, and five of Jujutsu Kaisen. Zero. So it's a little excessive in terms of the book haul that I got. So, I mean, okay, seven books is not terrible. Eight. <laughs> seven seven books. One of them is a gift, so I'm not going to haul it, obviously. But I know what it is. But Katie knows what it is. I'm going to change stuff. my camera battery because I have Do more have things any? to say. Oh, you have more things? Oh, okay. I want to talk about what I got. I got things from Daiso. Do we want to just change to my camera? <laughs> Don't mind the angle change. <laughs> so we went to Daiso and Katie just showed off hers. Go check out the vlog. So it's an excessive stuff. amount. <laughs> I got these Sakura flower stickers. I got three sheets of them because I feel like I'm going to use them a bunch in my journal and they're just so cute. I didn't see the silver ones. I got cute. some, like a tomato, <laughs> a strawberry sticker sheet and then some other kind of like brown vibe sticker sheets, whatever, brown fun time. Vibe. Oh, these are nice. Um, some flowers oh, wait, for I something or other. I was like, I wish I had gotten some of these, <laughs> but I did. I've got... <laughs> <laughs> the strawberry washi tape. Sorry, the tomato washi tape. And then the most important thing, <laughs> the absolute steal, <laughs> is these like <laughs> clover envelopes. They're just so adorable. And it's a pack of four. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with these because I want to do something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> send me a little St. Patrick's Day card. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's just, they're so cute. So I was actually kind of tame in my Daiso. It could have been worse. Katie, not so much, but no. she she went she went all out. I needed my thing. But I'm never like I probably will never go to a Daiso again. <laughs> well, maybe not well, ever maybe. again. But like maybe <laughs> like, like, <laughs> there's not one immediately near me, so yeah. it doesn't happen very often. It's the first it's time nice it's happened treat. in 22 years. So I was going ham. <laughs> Absolutely feral. <laughs> Absolutely feral. I walked in, I was like... You just started like doing the scoop I was like, I'm so overstimulated right now, but it's in a good way. I think we both put back like one thing, only yeah. to like add three more things, because <laughs> we were like walking to put something back, and then we passed like three more things. No, my favorite just... part when I went at most, and I was like, oh yeah, we should leave. And then, and then was, we ended up picking like five more and things. Then we spent, like, Fifteen more minutes in the store. Yeah, it was such a good time. It was it was a fun time though. Absolutely, like, it was a spiritual experience. Really going to mm -hmm. Daiso. What are our plans for tonight? Simon Hate Fest. My feet are going numb, so I have to <laughs> not sit on them. We're gonna watch some of the Shadowhunter TV show. We're on Simon season Hate two it. now. We're starting Ooh, season two tonight. Literally, we're it's gonna get be. at least two episodes in. Yeah. We could do some journaling. I like that. I have my printer. Oh, yeah. We could do some journaling while we sign hate fest. I did bring my journaling stuff, so this is good. That's the plan. We're gonna yeah. watch TV and journal. Watch TV and journal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll film like a little bit of like my journaling stuff. Yeah. We'll see. That'll be cute. Yeah. I will for sure film mine. Film mine? Film mine? I always say mine? I might, even though I have like full intention to do so. But oh, yeah, I, mean, I, might, I never want to make any promises. I might film mine. I don't know. <laughs> 
you and the, you and I in the same room is just too much. It's like, it's too much. It's so, there's like a it's better when we're on like FaceTime because there's a buffer. It's more tame. Yeah, <laughs> the second we're together, it's just, just like boom. The chaos just like amplifies yeah. beyond belief. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Writing shots. I don't know if I'm shot. So last night I did like a little bit more reading into Legends and Lattes. I'm on page 78, kind of in the middle of chapter eight-ish. The chapters are very short. Ooh. Oh, I'm literally like one page away from chapter nine. Like I should have just finished this last little. <laughs> okay. Anyway. You so literally I'm, have like five lines until the next chapter. Like I literally <laughs> stopped right here and then chapter nine is on the next page. So I should have just kept going. Literally read the last five sentences. Yeah. But anyway, still a really, really fun time coffee shop is slowly getting opened up and I just love how like slow and like mundane this book is almost like the thanks for watching this update I love how detailed very mundane things are I think that's kind of what gives it the cozy vibe is just they're cleaning out and like moving things and all those very like simple tasks are almost not like glorified but just it just seems romanticized that's the word my little walking thesaurus. How kind. That's what I'm here for. Very <laughs> romanticized. And it just, like, the vibes are immaculate. Which is what everyone <laughs> says about this book. And I'm here to just agree with everyone else. <laughs> but we're going to do a little bit more reading. Because we are going off to my favorite place. The Full Cup. I'm and I get so to take excited. Katie, my favorite person, to my favorite place. Which is just very, very exciting. Well, I'm so excited to be with my favorite person in your favorite place. Oh, thank you. Probably also talk. A lot um, of chatting. A lot of chatting. Because, like... Can Duh. we ever get shit done together? No. Rarely. No. Most of your reading has been done when I'm still asleep yeah. in the morning. <laughs> so that the really says I've something about it. And then my reading was late at night and when I, you were yeah. asleep. Yeah. It's very balanced. <laughs> I think it works, honestly. I think I think it does work. Yeah. But that is the plan. I am incredibly excited to show Katie my favorite place. So let us be off. Let us be off! <laughs>
gone, unfortunately. I did not get any clips of us saying goodbye because the people at the airport were absolute menaces today. Like, I don't know. The lady that was like shooing everyone along just looked pissed. And no one was driving in like a legal way. So that was just stressful. And I was like, get out of my car. I need to get out of the situation. Not that aggressively, but somewhere along the lines of just like, bye. And that was it. I did a little bit of reading when we were at the full cup. Uh, and by a little bit, actually a lot of it. I made it to page 190. And I really don't have any updates about this book because nothing really happens. Because that's the whole point of this book. Uh, we did get introduced to Thimble, who's actually on the back of the book here. And I freaking love him. I really, really love the cast of characters. And there's like a little bit of tension with like a plot happening right now. Not really like high stakes at all, but it's just so fun. I love the environment and the setting. I'm really excited for the prequel when um, Bone Dust and Bookshops come out. You already know I'm going to be snagging that up. I get why this is so popular. I literally cannot wait to finish it. It's just been so, so fun. And then I actually have a little package from Book Depository I wanted to open. And it should be Warbreaker. Oh, no, not me getting the fuzzies. Oh, I do this every time with all the little, like, cardboard fuzzies. Oh, it is so pretty. I got Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is the Wyverns and Words Book Club book for March. And I kind of need to pick this up sort of soon-ish. It's kind of a long one. It's 640-ish pages and so I want to make sure I have enough time to actually sit down and really sink into the Brando Sando book. It'll be my first Brando Sando book. Also Katie hates when I say Brando Sando so I have to say Brando Sando of course. I know this is a standalone for now. It might potentially get a sequel into the future but for the book club we wanted to kind of choose a standalone. And this is the one that we chose. I'm very excited. And like I said, we have a live show coming up in two weeks-ish. I think it's two weeks. So I want to make sure that I have time to slowly make my way through this and not feel rushed because this is a book that I definitely feel like I'm going to enjoy. And I don't want to rush that experience. It's my little book haul. This is so pretty. I am very excited to start a Brandon Sanderson shelf. I have also ordered Mistborn, the first three of Mistborn, and I plan on ordering The Way of Kings and everything in like the white editions, but they're just, it's just so pretty. Like that's gonna look so pretty on my bookcase. Unfortunately, my bookcase is full. And so all the books that I've been like hauling as of late, like all those books that I hauled earlier in the vlog are up in my closet. And this one is just gonna sit on the bottom of my bookcase right back here along with my uh, Chaos X Cast Book Club book pick um, until I have time to actually pick it up and read it. So just throw it back there and pretend like the rest of my shelf is actually what, you know, the shelf looks like. That makes no sense. Anyways, I am actually going to get unready because I love going out and doing things. Do not get me wrong, but I am an introvert, believe it or not. And so spending a lot of time out and about and doing things has really really drained me and so I'm just ready to shower and absolutely just chill. I'm going to finish Legends and Lattes tonight because it's obviously like a very quick read. I'm almost done with it. I have a little under 100 pages left and I'm just so excited to be in some really comfy clothes. But yeah, let me go ahead and shower and get unready and finish Legends and Lattes. Don't mind the Gryffindor jacket that I've been wearing since high school. Um, but I'm here to wrap up this vlog and it was such a fun week and it definitely is not like an oh, entire week later when I'm wrapping this vlog up because I realized while I was editing that I don't have an outro for this. Nope, definitely the day after Katie has left. I did end up finishing Legends and Lattes. I did give it five stars and when I give books five stars, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do is look at the Goodreads ratings. And I loved the Goodreads one star rating where they're like, nothing happened in this book. I don't understand all the hype. And I'm like, all the hype was because nothing happened in this book. And it was so, so lovely and cozy and fun. I don't agree with the people that said it was like their top fantasy book of the year. I think that there are so many high fantasy books or even just like YA fantasy books that are absolutely more phenomenal than this. Very simple and easily digestible fantasy. Not to say that it can't be your favorite fantasy book of the year, but I do agree with the critiques of people picking this up thinking it's going to be some sort of groundbreaking thing because so many people said it was their favorite and then for them to be like, 
what the heck. But I mean, it is advertised as like high fantasy, low stakes or something like that. It was so cozy. Thimble, whom I showed is on the back cover earlier, ended up being one of my favorite, favorite characters. They're just so freaking cute. And the visual of them cooking in the back, he was my favorite. It's so cute. I also loved Tandri's character and kind of the chain of events and the growth and found family in this book. The found family is so, so good. The characters are very simple. I don't think they have like very complex histories or character actions of explaining like why they do certain things. It's a very simple fantasy with one main magical element perhaps and the kind of stakes aren't that high at all and that's the whole point of the book so definitely one that i'm going to reread in the future just as a little like comfort read i will be reading the prequel when it comes out the book shops and bone dust and then we have chain of thorns which i am still not done with and it has already spanned between two vlogs it's a little ridiculous at this point i'm on page 536 so still quite a ways to go as you can see this book is incredibly long. However, things have happened. A big battle has occurred and they did something that I was very, very sad about. Also, I'm not gonna hold this blank ass book, but things have happened that I am not very thrilled about. In fact, I was reading the other night and I was in the living room with my roommate and I just kind of like set down the book and started pacing the apartment because I was very, very upset. I don't know how this book is going to end. Right now it's almost, it's not a five star read for me per se. It's probably like a four star read for me right now. I think I definitely enjoy Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron a little bit more. I feel like the pacing in this one is very slow and I know if I pick it up things will start kind of wrapping up but there's just so much to wrap up that the thought of like diving back into it to dive into the like dozens and dozens of POVs. It's just a lot. So I haven't really been reaching for this book to actually finish it, but it will be finished in my next vlog. Mark my words. So if you want to hear my final thoughts on Chain of Thorns, it'll be in my next vlog. I do apologize. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog, regardless of, you know, me not doing like that much reading. I do really miss Katie already, but luckily, she is here with us in spirit. Just kidding. She's literally here with us. What am I, dead? <laughs> wait, wait. What? I didn't properly get to say hey. Oh, okay. I was too busy being outraged at my intro. <laughs> Hi! How's everybody doing today? It's actually a bye. Are you all subscribed to Cass? It's a, it's a bye. Not. We're saying goodbye. Alright, let me retry that. Bye! <laughs> oh yeah, that's all. Okay, um, Katie has dismissed herself. I had such an incredible time. I truly cannot think of a better way that I could have spent my 21st. And I cannot wait to see her again sometime in the summer. So look out for more content with Katie coming soon in the summer. Not that soon, but soon-ish. Sooner than six months. So that's exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my lovely Patreons over on Chaos X Cast. We have a buddy read every single month, some behind the scenes shenanigans, and some bonus videos over there. Thank you all once again for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Toodles!